At this time, I'd like to welcome our chairman, Mahesh Shetty. Mahesh is a senior corporate executive with deep expertise in finance, st strategy, technology, and operations. Mahesh has served in C-level leadership roles with Fortune 500 companies and mid-size private public companies in the manufacturing, technology, and service industries. Mahesh served as a CFO of North American Technologies Group, Inc., a NASDAQ-listed manufacturing company focused on, on the transportation industry, as well as chief operating officer and chief financial officer of a commercial real estate company. He is a CPA, a certified information technology professional, a CGMA, and a chartered accountant. He has an MBA from the University of Texas, Dallas, which was recently ranked in the top 50 business schools by Business Week. In addition to these distinctions, Mahesh also advises companies by serving on their boards. He's currently on the board of three companies, on the advisory board of a venture capital firm, and an operating executive for a hedge fund. Mahesh is a servant leader, serving on boards of various professional and community-based organizations. He remains an active member of Financial Executives International and has served in various officer roles within the organization over the last 10 years, including as president of FEI's Dallas chapter, which also happens to be the largest chapter in the country. Mahesh also serves on the board of Mothers Against Drunken Driving as a judge for the Dallas Business Journal Awards and of course as chairman of the US India Chamber of Commerce. It is no surprise that Mahesh was named CFO of the year private company in 2011 by both the Dallas Business Journal and the DCEO magazine. Please join me in welcoming our chairman, Mahesh Sethi. Good evening, distinguished guests, chamber members, ladies and gentlemen. I'm particularly grateful to our keynote speaker, Dr. Robert Kaplan, our guest moderator, David Johnson, and a friend and the Consul General of India, Honorable Anupam Rai. My name is Mahesh Shetty, and I'm the chairman of the board of the U.S. India Chamber of Commerce. It is my distinct pleasure to give you the State of the Chamber address this evening. 2016 has been a very exciting year for the Chamber. We hosted 13 large events, a record, touching over 1,600 unique individuals. We supported our community partners like the City of Frisco and Richland College in hosting six events. Our young entrepreneurs and professional group, also called YEP, not to be outdone by us baby boomers, hosted six additional events, bringing the total to 25 unique events, an event every other week. If you look around here and witness the camaraderie and the friendship that permeates this event, it's because we see each other so often, we cannot help but feel that we're coming home. Our weekly communications reached over 2,900 individuals, a 26% increase over last year. Our 2016 events range from knowledge events and seminars, like our ever popular franchising event, to new events like the Chamber's first annual technology conference. These events have tremendous value for our Chamber members, providing them with opportunities to learn, connect, and thereby grow, which fulfilling our motto of connecting people and creating wealth right here in DFW. In addition to hosting large events, the Chamber and the board members took over 400 meetings this year with member companies seeking to connect companies and enhance the individual business development efforts. 400 meetings, a meeting every single day of the year, and then some. If you need to speak to a bank or a capital source or need an introduction to a prospective customer, call us. We're here to help you. We connect people and help you create wealth. And in keeping with the theme of connecting people, our chamber has been part of the national conversation for some time and plays a very influential role in Indo-US relations. Indian Ambassador Arun Singh visited the metro area recently. He met community members at UT Dallas and visited with elected officials and corporations, including TR. On a local level, 
the chamber made a concerted effort to bring together the leaders of over 25 Indian community organizations throughout North Texas on two different occasions this year to foster collaboration and to enhance the value of individual organizations including INT, DFWICS, GDAAC, and so many others. And those partnerships extend beyond the Indian community as well. Our special thanks to Amy Hofflin and the Crow Collection and Frisco Mayor Maso and his team for their partnership with the Chamber. We are evolving from a cultural mosaic to a business melting pot. This is an American organization created and run by Americans of Indian origin. Our talented president, Neil Gonigunkler, who you heard earlier, who is also celebrating our birthday today, is a millennial born and raised in Texas. Another example of connecting people is bridging the gap between business and the workforce. Therefore, a major focus of our chamber has been education. Education, as we all know, is the foundation of a progressive society. The US continues to be a beacon of higher education, particularly to students from India. Almost every major university in North Texas has a preponderance of graduate students from India. We have built strong relationships with the UNT system, UT Arlington, the Dallas Community College District, and my alma mater, UT Dallas. Connecting people also connotates creating visibility for a chamber. Our, our chamber and our board members were covered widely in the mainstream press this year. Sanjeev Khanna and Vic Topper were awardees at the Dallas Business Journal Minority Leaders event. Raj Malik was recognized by ENY as the Entrepreneur of the Year. And Arun Agarwal was honored with the NRI of the Year Award by Times Now ICICI Bank. Our own founding chairman and my friend A.K. Margo was nominated by Governor Abbott as a regent of the University of North Texas and also received the Distinguished Alumni Award from the University of Texas in Dallas. It's my privilege to work with such distinguished and talented board members. But we're just not a chamber of commerce. We also a chamber of heart. Through osmosis, we have absorbed the philanthropic nature of a society. Learn, earn, and return over and over and over again. Our goal is not just to engage, but engage meaningfully in a society that has done so much for us. When, the Dal when Dallas suffered a huge tragedy on July 7th, the community came together and responded swiftly. Under the umbrella of the chamber, we donated over $60,000 to assist the Office of Fund with the Dallas Police Department. Another example of heart is our YUP organization's continuous engagement with the Salvation Army. If you remember at this event last year, we had a drive for the Chennai World flood relief and you all responded generously. Thank you. Our chamber has made great leaps in automation this year with brand new technology and added additional staff to cope with the growth. Finally, our success would not be possible without good talent and a tremendous spirit of volunteerism. My special thanks to our chamber team, Neil, Priya, Shikhar, the YUP team, and the hard work by our board, particularly Chairman Lex Suhas Naik and our founding chairman, A.K. Margo, for continuously challenging us. The chamber is an epitome of selfless leaders, and I humbly stand on their shoulders. Can the board members, the volunteers, and the staff please stand and be recognized? Thank you, thank you, and thank you. An event of this scale would not be possible without the help of our sponsors. Our platinum sponsors this evening are the Naveen Jindal Institute of Indo-American Business Studies at UT Dallas, the Davis Yost Group at Morgan Stanley Private Wealth, and Trans Global Technologies. We also appreciate and thank our many platinum, gold, and silver, and media sponsors. Thank you for supporting us. We are grateful for your support. I'm proud to say that the state of our chamber is sound, our vision is clear, and our future is bright. 
We connect people and help our members create wealth. As 2016 recedes into our rear view mirrors and 2016, 2017 peaks over the horizon, on behalf of the board and the U.S. India Chamber of Commerce, I would like to wish you happy holidays and a prosperous 2017. God bless the Chamber and God bless America. It's also my privilege today to introduce Dr. Anupam Ray, who is a Consul General of India based in Houston. Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Ray is a physician by education and actually was a neurosurgery re resident before he joined the Indian Foreign Service in 1994. Just to give you an idea of how tough it is to get into the IFS, as the Indian Foreign Service is called, they, they select only about 20 people from almost half a million applicants every year. So you necessarily have to be a little bright, to put it mildly, to be selected. His career, which began in Germany, had coincided with the emergence of India as a major power. He has held key diplomatic assignments as political officer in Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and, um, and as a manager of India's successful campaign for the position of Commonwealth Secretary General of, out of London. He was also the senior member in the Indian team in the Uni United Nations Security Council in New York. He was the first employee of India's outgoing aid agency, created in 2012. He later worked as Joint Secretary to kickstart one of India's most innovative diplomatic projects, the ambitious 500 million Nalanda University, uh, which is one of its kind in the world. He has served as Chief of Staff to a Minister, managed the nuts and bolts of the Foreign Office as Director Personnel, and was Dep Deputy Coordinator at the BRICS Summit in New Delhi in 2012. In addition to a medical degree, he has an MA in public administration and speaks English, German, Hindi, Bangla, and Assamese, and understands Punjabi and Urdu. He has been a fellow at the Center of Strategic and International Studies in DC. And before he came on to Houston, he was on a two-year sabbatical as a visiting professor at the Patterson School of Diplomacy and International Commerce at the University of Kentucky. He's married to Amit Goldberg, who is also a doctor, and he has two beautiful children. <laughs>